Before these sessions, I had no idea how much data I was giving, how much data I was sharing, and how much what I did online affected what happened online. To be honest, I've never, I'd never heard about data science before, but coming to these sessions, obviously the last one, I actually Googled it as well, what data science was. And obviously, even though it's quite a complex subject, what I have picked up is that it's basically trying to make uh, Britain into a better place. The population movements, for population uh, growth of industry, growth of cities, where the industry is liable to be in the future, so the investors know where, exactly where to invest. Probably from around the discussions that we've had, certainly health provisions, school provisions, and probably leisure provisions as well, um, even down to understanding how the road works can affect people, the volume of traffic. So putting into a group, I think that's wrong. And that's my worry, that it will turn into a commodity. The government is owned by everybody and therefore information that is given to the government and shared within the government should only be used as a free resource for to help people. I think inaccurate data, that would be a massive issue because then you'd be generalising to a population which would be inaccurate. I think from a lot of the discussions that we've previously had, not being educated about data science, which you're probably not going to be in your day-to-day -day life, is where your fears come from. Being more crystal clear on, on giving out data, when you give your data to the government, I'd like, like to know how my data being used. If obviously we're going to have open and honest conversations and we live in a society, it's a two-way process, it's a two-way contract. So if the government want information from its citizens, okay, then we need to know how they're going to process that information, what purposes are they using it for, so therefore we can be open and honest with them and work with them rather than against them. I think I'm going to have to be accountable for what I do. I'm going to have to be open about what I do um, and not skip that out. I can make the assumption that the work I'm doing is um, benign. Um, I know for myself that I wouldn't do something that was unethical. Um, I'd know that there would be good reason to do it, but I don't think that's enough. I think now I see that I have to be seen to be um, making those choices and being open. Um, so it's given me... Um, a lesson in uh, ensuring that I am open in what I'm doing um, and going the extra step to make sure that people see and understand. But now I've been to these sessions, uh, yeah, I, do, I can see where, the, where it's coming from, why they want this information and, and it's a lot, it could be beneficiary to myself. Uh, it's just knowing, it's knowing things that I didn't know before. Yeah, I've, I've opened my mind up a little bit, yeah.